Okay, so as I mentioned in my last blog, um, I was getting moulds made up to make the plastic pistons that um, fit inside the pipe and pump. Unfortunately, the local ministry, with a very, very limited tools, um, couldn't make it to anywhere near my original design. I tried to get another engineering firm in town to modify the moulds to try and make them work, but they couldn't do it either. But they didn't charge me for the, the trying, which was very nice of them. So instead it improvised, um, got these plastic uh, backing packaging, you can see here, from the sprung um, roof nails, uh, washers, you can see here. Cut them up, put them on a bolt, put them in a drill, uh, got a sharp knife and tried to cut them down so that they would fit snugly inside um, the pipe. Uh, very rough and ready technique, uh, but it worked. Um, but yeah, a bit not definitely not ideal pistons and led to some undesirable inefficiencies. Um, you can see the finished design. Um, the pistons are actually the only thing you can't buy off the shelf in a hardware shop, so I'm going to be looking at making these more easily when I go back to Bristol. Uh, but I've got everything ready, ready to install after a month of trying, and yeah, uh, sky's open. Month of sunshine, day I'm ready, sky's open. Not supposed to rain for another month, but climate change and something, wet season comes early. But, I'm expecting some problems, so wait a couple of days, it's all good. Um, uh, but then when I was taking out the pump that was already in the borehole, which feeds the tank, which feeds the kitchens for the university, just turning off this tap and the shoddy design or installation uh, meant that it broke. But to replace that, but yeah, got it working finally. Um, rather temporary structure, as you can see. But the idea was just to test out the basic design, demonstrate it, and prove that it worked. Um, yeah, the basic design consists of those plastic discs I showed you earlier, spaced evenly along a uh, continuous loop of rope. Um, which and the plastic disc fit just inside a pipe that runs from the water at the bottom of the borehole up to the surface and therefore because they fit just inside they bring water up with them as they pass up the pipe it's a larger diameter pipe at the top and um, stop water spilling out the top and a side arm attached to that to deliver the water the loop of ropes driven by the pulley which in turn is driven by the black motor there and um, which in turn is connected to those two 40 watt panels that's the guide that's at the bottom of the well to turn the rope and guide it back into the vertical section all 15 metres of the pipe uh, and bring the, water, uh, bring the water up to the surface and that's it back in the borehole um, the larger dams pipe there you can see is just to guide the rope back into the borehole and the rope's actually free all the way down to the guide so as I mentioned uh, the two 40 watt panels, 80 watts of solar panels are used um, they cost about 500 US dollars. The motor, I'm hoping I can get one that will uh, have the same specification um, from a car windscreen wiper motor. That should cost around 150 US dollars, and the pump itself will only cost 100 US dollars. So that's 750 US dollars in total, delivering 3,000 liters a day if run for six hours, which I was managing to do while I was testing it out. Also managed to demonstrate it to the students at the Sustainable Energy Department at Mzuzu University where I'd installed the pump um, and they'd agreed to take it on um, next September as their final year project and a lot of interest and I'm now actually back in Bristol uh, doing more lab tests on the system so I can fully specify uh, it up for the Malawian students and give them full engineering drawings of the basic system which they can fully test out and think of any improvements and then it should be ready for manufacture and installation and use by April 2010, hopefully, uh, but don't hold me to it. Anyway, until next time, part.